For our last scenic ride of the series, we've found a route just a little bit out of the ordinary. We're leaving the northeast for Malawi. If you want a holiday with a difference, go cycle touring in Africa. <laughs> Malawi is a small country by African standards, dominated by Lake Malawi, 365 miles of fresh water. Our route takes us into the hot southern region of Malawi. The landscape is savanna-like, dry, dusty and drenched in sunshine. Still plenty of vegetation though, and cool breezes soften the heat. Lake Malawi is disease-free and packed with food that swims. This explains why the people of Malawi are healthy, happy and extremely friendly. It's pretty much a paradise. A cycle trip abroad is a major undertaking. It's important to have a robust bicycle and vital to check it's mechanically sound and fit for weeks away from a workshop. Cycle touring is escapism and one of the reasons I go adventuring abroad is to escape the great British weather. I'll fly thousands of miles for a ride in the sun. It's absolutely pouring down out here. Thank God I'm going to Africa tomorrow. Blue skies, bright sunshine. I'm not flying out alone though. Joining me for our first trip together is Bob Strawson. Bob owns an engineering company that makes fancy parts for expensive bicycles. Just two weeks after asking him if he wanted to join me on a hurriedly organised trip to Malawi, here we were, high over Africa. Bikes travel on planes for free, and they generally survive the flight intact. After fitting pedals and removing the protective padding, we set off for our first miles in Malawi. Hot miles, plenty of sunshine, my kind of trip. Africa is not noted for its tarmac, and we mostly travelled on rough dirt tracks. These are coronations! This is the worst track and it's absolutely disgusting. To cushion the knocks, we fitted suspension forks, but the corrugation still shook our saddles loose. We kept the toolkit handy and made sure the water bottles were strapped in tight. Everything not bolted down goes in the pannier bags, even the maps. Navigation is easy though, there aren't too many tracks to choose from. Out in the sticks, we were always the main attraction. Whatever we did, we were guaranteed of an audience. The people were intrigued to see what these strange white men on bicycles were up to. In towns, we stayed in hostels, but some were so insect infested, we still had to sleep inside our inner tent. It was also humid, and it was the height of optimism to expect our washing to dry and humidity can be unbearable, especially after an African rainstorm. One storm started just before we broke camp and was powerful enough to make us stay put. The sun doesn't hide for long though, and it dries nylon tents almost instantly. We didn't always sleep out under the stars or in bug-ridden hostels. Sometimes we opted for luxury, and the views from our five-star hotel in Zomba were worth the guilt. No need to feel guilty about eating lots though. On cycle tours you eat big time. All that exercise means you don't put on weight. And that's just as well because Malawi is wall-to-wall -wall food. Exotic breakfasts, excellent fish from Lake Malawi, gutted while you wait, and, for sweetening sour fruit, pure black honey. The water was good too. Every few miles we filled up our containers from village pumps. On the back I've got um, two litres in there, so I keep on replenishing that, so I'm, I'm drinking all the time. As I'm cycling along, I can actually just pick this up, suck, and I've got water. Now, it's vitally important to be drinking constantly. Hello, how are you? Good. We're now measuring the distance between places by the amount of waving we do because it's actually alleviating the pressure on our hands, on the handlebars. Because everywhere, everybody waves, we've got to wave to them back. And this is a very, very well populated country. We've got villages, little straw hutted villages, all the way along the track. So everywhere, hello, hello. So, we're 630 waves 
away from Lake Malawi, across there. And then I think we're about 843 waves from the Longwe. So we haven't got that much farther to go down to the, the lakeside. One of the joys of travelling by bike is discovering trails that lead to wonderful stopovers. After a hard, punishing day on washboard tracks, we found Cape McClear. Come up the mountain and we're seeing fantastic views right the way around Lake Malawi. We feel different. I mean, there are people here, there's Westerners here, lots of South Africans who've travelled in their cars. You just, you just feel different, you feel more adventurous because well, they've, they've driven here. We're using human transport. That makes a big difference. There's a different buzz with cycle touring. There's a different feeling. And um, it's a very special feeling. And if you do cycle tour, you, you'll, you'll know what we mean. But if you don't, you won't.